Hello my dear viewers, welcome back to Ruhoni Sowi. Today we are going to have a tutorial on umbrella sleeves. We are going to sew a peplum top and the sleeves of this peplum are going to be two pieces. As always we are going to start by tracing the pattern. Here I have the old pattern for the back, front and as well as this one here for the sleeves. So since the measurement have not changed, I'm going to use these uh, patterns to trace our new patterns. Remember to label all the important points or marks. Here we have our back, front, as well as our sleeve pattern. Okay, so just after finishing tracing, I started with the modification process. My client wanted a heart-shaped neckline with the umbrella sleeves. After finishing with the bodies, then I went ahead to modify the sleeves. And then I sew the muslin before sewing the actual garment. So lying there on the table, that's the muslin. And the one piece that I'm holding, that was the sleeve that I made. But then my client was not very happy because she thought the flare was not enough. And you can see it from here. That was the only flare that we got from the first attempt. So not just the sleeve, also for the neckline, she did not like it very much. So we decided to make a V neckline uh, both at the front as well as at the back. And there also I had to do the modification. And so for the sleeve, I made two patterns, the long one and the short one, as we could have seen with our design. After that, divide your pattern into equal parts, as you can see with the lines which are vertically drawn. Then take your scissor and cut along these lines, but not all the way through. So let me take you back to the very first attempt which I made with these umbrella sleeves. When I was making the muslin, I decided to make a flare by separating these pieces of paper one inch apart. I found it easier first to pin them down and then to hold them with a pin like I do here. So this was the amount of flare that we got with the one inch distance. Now let us move on to the second attempt. And now I decided to spread uh, my pattern or these pieces of paper into two, two inches distance apart. Again, like I said, it is a bit tricky. So at first, make sure to use the pins to hold your paper down. And then when you are sure that we've measured well, then you can take your tape and attach to your paper. So after making the flares, I redraw the pattern. And this is what we got, okay? So after all that modification, then I continued with the cutting of the fabric. And I made sure that all the preparations are made before the actual process of sewing, like putting the marks for the darts and all other things. With regard to sleeves, I cut four pieces. And you can see here, I have only one pattern. Then I proceed to separate two pieces of the sleeve, and these were the long sleeve. And then I take a scissor and reduce the length of my sleeve like you see here on this pattern. And then after that, I proceed to reduce the length of the fabric. So these were the short sleeves. So there is no need for you to have two patterns like I've seen before. Now let us proceed. Then I took care of the neckline first for the front as well as for the back. As always, I keep on reminding you at each and every stage, make sure that you iron your garment. This way, it helps for the seam to lay flat and it looks good also. And now it was time to join the shoulder. And with the shoulder and side seam, I always like to join them in a very simple way so that it is easier even for a person who Maybe they want to make a modification or maybe it is not uh, fitting them very well. Then you can do a modification easily. So before joining the sleeve, I had to attach it with the interface. 
for the short sleeve, I made the lining of the same fabric as the sleeve itself. And so I attached the interface on one piece of that sleeve, okay, as you can see it here. So when attaching, make sure the interface sticks well to the fabric before you start sewing. And on the longer sleeve, I attached the interface on this black lining. For clarification, that is a short sleeve and this is a long one. After attaching the interface, now take another piece. Make sure the right sides are facing each other and align them well like this. After aligning them well, take them to the machine and then sew at the bottom of these pieces just like I do it here. And there, here they are, all the four pieces. Now we want to turn them inside out. So before turning them, make sure that you trim the excess seam so that it will be easier for you to turn them inside out. And then after turning them inside out, iron to make sure the seam lays flat in both pieces. So here is our sleeve finished on one side of our top. Now let me show you how I did it. Lay your long sleeve down and the short one at the top. Again, I hope you can see these busting stitches. I made them by hand to hold the sleeve pieces together. Then after that, now here we are aligning the short and the long sleeve. First, attach with the pin, making sure that they align very well, the center as well as the front and the back uh, sides. It is very important for you to um, use your time to make sure that you are aligning your pieces well, because this one is going to save you the hassle of redoing your sleeve. But before that, I also made a busting stitch holding these two sleeves together. And now we are attaching our sleeve. First of all, making sure the center of the sleeve aligns well with the shoulder. And then attach your sleeve. And yes, here is our sleeve. So both of our sleeves have been inserted very well. And that's it for the top part of our paper and here is the design as you can see very beautiful very flattering I think on anybody just beautiful